Hi, I'm Lloyd Pye and this is the Star Child Skull. I've been working on this for 10 years now, taking it to scientists, doing scientific tests, trying to find out what makes it so incredibly different from normal human skulls. And we've found absolutely amazing things, amazing things that are different from the star child compared to humans. Now I want to tell you about the rear. Notice that the rear of the star child skull is completely different from a normal human. Normal human is rounded off through here. This has a dent. It's rounded off this way. It's very flat. Complete redesign. And it's not done through any kind of deformity. It's not cradle boarded. You'll hear experts try to say, oh, well, it must be a cradle, cradle boarded to cause all that flatness. It can't be. When you're cradle boarded, your head is strapped down to a board. Your mother's working in primitive cultures. It's, it's still done today. It makes the rear of your head flat. Yes, indeed it does that. But it only, it only does it down to this point right here, the inion, that knot there where your neck begins because the board can't go past that. So if the star child flat were, were flat from here to here, you could make that argument. But because it's flat over this entire area, it's impossible. Not only that, the area that's flattened when you're cradle boarded is as flat as the board. This is not flat. It's naturally convoluted. It has all of its natural uh, terrain changes. Clearly not cradle boarded. Its genes told it to grow this way. And if it's, of course, if its genes told it to grow this way, they're not human genes. But nonetheless, this is a very, very unusual part of the many, many unusual things about the Star Child Skull. You, again, you can find out all about them at, with Lloyd Pye's Star Child Skull Essentials, my new ebook that you can see a free reading sample of at StarChildProject.com. I urge you to do that. I think you'll find it fascinating. Thank you.